What's up and welcome back to the Blaze Tech and in today's video we are going to be talking about how to connect your iPad to a Windows computer and there's also going to be a video on how to do it on Mac. The process is a lot easier on Mac just because of the compatibility. On Windows it's a little bit more of a process but for the people that don't know how to do it on Windows this video is going to help you so make sure to leave a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel and if it helps you out or you got any questions comment below so of course you want to get your ipad first obviously and depending on your connection type you want a usb-c to a usb 3.0 or if you've got a macbook then you can use something like a usb-c to a usb-c cable but for this example i've only got ports on my windows computer which are 3.0 hence why i'm using a 3.0 to USB-C. So I'm going to plug the USB-C into my iPad and the 3.0 to the actual computer itself. Alright, so for example purposes after you've connected your iPad to the actual computer itself, as you can see this is my iPad in the background. So what's going to want to do is you are going to want to go to your App Store and after you've gone to your App Store you want to go into Search and there is a latency on Windows. So after you've done that you're going to want to search up stream link and the first one that and the second one that will come up is the elgato screen link so i'm going to do my best to synchronize what i'm saying with what's actually happening and after you've done and downloaded elgato stream link to simply go to the app itself and this is elgato stream link it's pretty much got a tutorial on how to actually do things but pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to swipe down on the top right hand side and where your recordings are you are going to want to change this from photos or whatever to tap on screen link and click on broadcast now and after your broadcast is done simply click on stop broadcast and therefore it will actually stop on the background like it is right now so that is the ipad side of things so on your desktop you're going to want to download a program called 4k capture utility it's made from agato and pretty much whenever you click on start broadcast on your ipad then it will link up to this it can be done wirelessly it can be done wired so every time you start up a broadcast then it pops up on this so you'll have to have this open and what you can do on obs is i've got a feature called window capture so let's delete this so if we go to plus go to window capture and when you're doing this make sure you have 4k capture utility open so let's minimize this So to simply capture with 4K capture utility, I will leave that in the description, but if you don't want to do that, then let's go open up a incognito window and type in, type in Elgato stream link, and you can download it from the store. And after you've done that, what you're gonna want to do is Elgato game capture like so. And after you've done that, go to Elgato game capture so software and download the format simply for select product you can just say hd60 and you can go to download and after that's downloaded i don't want to sign up thank you after you've done that just simply download and install i should need to run through that because downloading and installing everyone knows how to do it these days and after you've installed it, it'll come up like this and go to the cog in the top right hand corner and go into device and click on this drop down box and you should see screen link once you've clicked on that go to OK and you should be good to actually start broadcasting and of course once again on your iPad whenever you want to start broadcasting go onto the screen recording section make sure you've tapped and hold the screen recording button select the screen link and start broadcast and it should automatically link you to your 4k capture utility as long as you've told the capture device to actually connect to stream linking. Now the question that you might have is how do you actually run it through OBS? So whether you have a new scene, old scene, it doesn't really matter. So 
this one is the webcam this one is the display capture so to actually capture this window here you're going to want to go to the plus button go to window capture call it whatever you want is open once again and click on 4k capture utility after you've done that now it will pop up in a new window if you want to you can make it full screen so if we did this made it full screen cropped it a little bit and you would have your ipad screen right here so to show you that it actually works let me move my webcam up and i will go onto my ipad go into the recording section make sure screen link is enabled click on start broadcast and it will pop up in a few moments as you can see i can do whatever i want so i can go to good notes for example and type in something like hi welcome to blaze tech and i can't even spell correctly and it pretty much works just as fine now on macbooks if you have a macbook this is this process is so much easier you don't need all these third party softwares to make this actually work so i'm going to be making a separate video for those people who want it separately on the mac devices it's a billion times easier trust me but unfortunately for windows it's a bit of a pain but it's still possible to do it literally takes five ten minutes to set everything up once you're done you're pretty much good to go so once again to run through everything quickly download screen link on your ipad and on your recording set settings tap and hold that icon then click on screen link and you can click on start broadcast and on the windows side of things make sure you download 4k capture utility and make sure you go to the cog click on devices click on screen link and every time you want to record your ipad just run through that process and you will be good to go and on obs do windows capture and go 4k capture utility and you will be good so that's a brief recap of today's video i hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching if this helped leave a like and subscribe to the channel we'll see you guys next time thank you for watching